It's another day of talking with Erica. So glad you're here to join us and we're going to have some fun. We're actually going to complete three projects in this short video. So let's get ready to chalk with Erica. Feel free to check out my website anytime at chalkcouture.com forward slash setting suns. Let's get ready. So we're going to do a coffee mug. We're going to do a t-shirt and we are also going to do a French inspired sign. So let's get started with our t-shirt. This is gonna be for my grandson. It's an 18 month shirt to give you an idea of size. This is the board that I'm gonna use in between the t-shirt so it doesn't bleed through. And we're gonna use ink on this shirt. We are gonna heat set it so it'll be permanent so his mother can wash it and dry it and he can wear it over and over again. So I'm not gonna use this whole transfer. I'm only gonna use part of it. So I call him my little man, and this is perfect for me to put on a shirt for him. So we're gonna get ready to get started. I'm gonna remove the transfer, and since it's already been used, I don't need to fuzz it. And I'm just gonna position it where I want it on the shirt. Make sure that I have it set on there nicely. Smooth it all out so we have no bubbles. And then we're gonna be ready to get started. Picking out the color, that's always the hardest part. So I'm pretty sure that I like this forget-me-not blue. So again, we are using inks on this shirt and we are just gonna use the squeegee and we're gonna work it into the webbed areas on this fabric and then it will be permanent. And this is going to be a perfect little gift to give to my little man. So just working in the areas, making sure that we only get the areas that we want, completely filling in the webbed area with the ink. And then once it dries, we will heat set it. We'll heat set it using a heat press, or you can use an iron, just make sure it's not on the steam setting. We'll use the heat press at 350 degrees for four minutes on the front and then we'll turn the shirt inside out and we'll use it for four minutes on the inside. So there's the little, so cute. And then the man, I'm gonna do that straightly right underneath the little pocket here. So since my ink is still wet on the transfer, I'm just holding up that one end, but we're going in on the webbed area with the ink in order to fill that in just like we just did. So if you're enjoying the video, I would love for you to look down below and hit the subscribe button. And if you know someone that would enjoy this video or learning about using Chalk Couture inks, feel free to share this video with them as well. Feel free to watch over and over again. Little man, there it is. How cute is that? I love it. And I love that Forget Me Not Blue on this red shirt turned out real nice. So that is one project done. Are you ready to start the next project? Before we do that, oh, and this is the big sign that I used. Before we do that, this is a special that we have going on. It's $19.99 plus $6 shipping. So for around $26 bucks plus tax, you're able to get this 5x7 board, the chalk paste that goes with it, but it doesn't come with a squeegee. So if you order from me, you're gonna get the squeegee for free. So if you're interested, send me a message um, or make a comment below that says small things and I'll send you an invoice for this and get it shipped out to you right away. So small things with great love, a transfer that you're gonna be able to use over and over and over again and everything you need to complete this project for around $26. That's with tax and shipping and everything. So now we're gonna do a French inspired board. This is a chalk couture surface. It, you can hang it two different ways, depending on which way you wanna use your transfer. And we're gonna do this beautiful bonjour piece. And I've seen this done many different ways but we're gonna do this one in all white today. So this is my fuzzing cloth, and I'm gonna take the transfer off, and then I'm going to put it onto the cloth in order to fuzz it up so that it will come off nicely from our surface. 
So I'm just pressing it out, picking it up, and I'll do that three or four times to get the nice amount of fuzz on there since it is a brand new transfer. All of our transfers are reusable. They have adhesive on the back, and after you wash them, it will reactivate that adhesive so that you can use them over and over and over again, which makes Chalk Couture such an affordable craft project to use. So I'm just positioning it on the board where I want it, making sure I'm getting all the bubbles out, moving it around, making sure it's good and secure. So, like I said, we're just gonna do this one very simply and we're gonna do it all in white. So we're just gonna mix up the white, make sure it is a yogurt-like consistency or if you'd rather, cake batter consistency. So it's just a good way um, if it's too dry, you can add a little bit of water to it. If it's too wet, you can add a little cornstarch to it. It's a great way to make sure that your paste is lasting well and giving you the finished look that you're looking for on your projects. So now I'm just moving the paste over the webbed areas on the transfer in order to get a good amount of that white paste on there so that we have a nice finished product. So I'm just working that into the webbed areas. This is my favorite part. It's just therapeutic knowing that I'm gonna create something so pretty, so beautiful. So as I finish this up, I, we're gonna get ready for the reveal. And as you know, if you watched any of my videos, the reveal is always my most favorite part. So clean off your tools when you get done. Make sure you get the lid put back on. Now I'm just going over with a larger squeegee, taking off any excess because that's all paste that we can use again. Again, another thing that makes it so affordable. So we're getting everything back where it needs to go, putting the lid back on, and now we're ready for the reveal. So removing the transfer, you're gonna to wanna to go to, from side to side, not corner to corner. That keeps you from stretching out your transfer. Look at all that detail. Isn't it just beautiful? I love it. Such an awesome, awesome, awesome gift. This would be beautiful decor in a home. It would be nice sitting around. Um, if you did wanna seal it and make it permanent, you would just spray the spray sealer over the top of it but I like to reuse my boards. So if I end up keeping this one for myself, I can do that. Now it's time for our third project. And we're gonna use ink again because we're gonna work on a ceramic mug. So anything that can go into the oven, you can actually heat set it and that allows it to be permanent, to be used in the dishwasher, to be hand washed, however you wanna do it, nothing special you have to do to take care of it. So today I've decided don't quit your daydream and this is a transfer I've done on shirts this is a transfer I've done on a board um, I just love this saying don't quit your daydream and so we're just gonna place it on there since the cup is round you do want to spend a little bit of time making sure that you're putting it down where it needs to go you're getting all the bubbles and creases out of there so that you do get a nice transfer onto your mug so this takes a little extra time since it's on the rounded surface to make sure that it's all done correctly. So um, feel free to follow me on my YouTube page. It's Setting Sun's Design. Feel free to share that with your friends as well. So I enjoy growing the channel and showing the things that we do with Chalk Couture and everything on there as well. If you'd like to do a little shopping, you can also check out my website at chalkcouture.com forward slash setting suns. Um, and then there's my Facebook page, which is Setting Sun Chalk Talk. And you can watch my lives on there. You can send me um, questions, anything that you wanna get more information about. So when I'm putting this on to like the ceramic cup or anything like that, if whenever I finish it, if I don't like it, I can always wipe it off and start all over. So it only becomes permanent whenever I heat set it. And to heat set um, anything that you're gonna put in the oven, it's gonna be 350 degrees for 30 minutes, and that includes your preheat time as well as the cool down time. So it's gonna be in the oven for a total of 30 minutes, 
and then I let it sit in there probably another hour or so to cool down. But 30 minutes of baking is all you need in order to get that heat set in there. And that way you can wash it, dry it any way that you normally wash and dry your dishes. No special need, anything needed for that after that. So Chocolate Tour is pretty amazing. Don't forget about the kits we have available. This one with shipping is around $26. Um, just put in the comments small things and I will send you the information you need to get that ordered But that's going to be your transfer or your paste everything you need um, Now let's see the reveal of our cup dun, 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 dun. Love it love it love it love it Don't quit your daydream and that's perfect for a coffee cup So in case you want to know what it looks like when you're trying to drink out of it. There you go always remember to daydream love it there's our little man shirt just to give you an idea on size think it turned out super cute as well as our bonjour board so i do have a couple places on here that need to be cleaned up i just take a q-tip remove those areas that have a little smudging on there before i'm going to heat set it and bake it in the oven and then we're all set so we had some fun with these projects tonight thank you so much for joining Stay tuned for more great things to come. And remember, chalking with Erica is always fun. Thanks again and happy crafting.